What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Pens and Tea. My name is Carrie, and today, oh boy, today I am almost on my coffee, which you know what that means. By the end of this video, I'm gonna be all like, wow. <laughs> Who knows? Maybe not. I don't know. Maybe it'll be the next video I film right after this. We shall see. But for right now, uh, I thought of something that I'd want to share with you guys. And I was thinking like what I would want to do as far as like interesting videos that aren't just like straight up pen reviews. I mean, that is the bread, the meat, the butter of, you know, the videos that I post. Uh, except for the fact that you guys didn't really like the sailor comparison that I did um, last Friday between like the slim, the regular size and the king of pens, which I thought was interesting. I thought that would be like a really popular video, but it was not. Um, so it just goes to show that uh, I cannot predict what you guys like, but I do like coffee. Um, this is just a straight up Colombian blend from my local roaster. Any hoozles. Uh, so I thought, what would be something that would be different for you guys relevant for you guys uh, and something that I haven't really talked about that often um, and I thought you know what I talk time to time about how I've repurchased pens but I don't really talk about why I sold them and then repurchased so today that's what that video is about I have my top three pens that I have sold and then repurchased and then I have two honorable mentions I'm going to start with the two honorable mentions, uh, and the reason why these aren't in my top three is because they're not um, pens that I uh, use all the time, and they're not pens that I tend to um, lean towards all the time. Like, when I want them, I'm glad I have them, but they're not ones that are, like, frequently in my rotation. Uh, so, yeah. The first one is the Pilot Metropolitan. This is in a honorable mention because... <clears throat> I sold the first one I ever had, which kind of bummed me out a little bit because it's actually the very first fountain pen I ever had uh, that I purchased in 2014. Yeah. <laughs> um, and it wasn't this one. It was just like the plain super light gray one. Uh, it wasn't the retro pop or anything like that. Um, but I sold it. And then I bought a whole bunch of retro pop ones and then sold those. <laughs> And then kind of regretted it down the line. Ah, such a satisfying clip. So I picked up one, uh, obviously, which is this one. And the reason I did is twofold. One, I wanted a pen that is very, 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 very familiar to you guys across the board. So if and when I do decide to do pen comparisons, which I don't do often because believe it or not, most of you don't care. There are a select few, but most of you don't seem to care. Um, but there's some time to time where I'm specifically mentioning the size, um, and this is a really handy one to have next to. And the second reason I did is because it's a great writing pen. It's an all metal pen. It's got a good weight to it. Um, but when I wanna take a pen with me that I know will stand up to any abuse that I throw at it, uh, and being an all metal pen, fits that bill. So that's really why I repurchased. Uh, and it is really a great writer. Um, but honorable mention. Second honorable mention, <sighs> the Twisby. Uh, I won't go into the history. I've made plenty of videos uh, about why I like and more importantly dislike Twisby pens. Um, but I needed one. <laughs> I needed one in my collection, and this is actually the Twisby Diamond 580 ALR because they don't really make the regular 580 anymore. Um, they do still have one, I believe, that's like in just like a silver trim, but it's really ugly in my opinion, um, so I don't like it. <laughs> and um, I did have a bunch of the older versions. This is the ALR that's like ribbed. <laughs> which I don't like quite as much as the regular, but it doesn't bother me. Um, the reason why I sold all the others, all the other Twisbees that I had is just because I don't really care for the way the Twisbee pens write. Uh, but the I, reason why I ended up rebuying this, uh, a little bit of the same reason for Pilot in the sense that um, it, it's, you know, really solid build and something that you guys are very familiar with. Um, but I have my door closed for the first time ever, and Parker's very confused. <laughs> um, but really, I bought it because you can completely disassemble this pen, uh, and there's a few inks that I really wanted to try. 
uh, that I wasn't comfortable putting in a pen that I couldn't completely disassemble. Uh, so that's really why I have this Twisby uh, is for uh, inks like that. If and when I decide to use ones with shimmer, I usually put in a pen that I can completely take apart. Uh, I don't use shimmering inks very often. I don't really care for them, but when the need arises, that's the pen that comes out. So those are my two honorable mentions. And let's get into the top three. No particular order. It isn't like there's like one that's better than the other in this top three, um, but they're all pens that I have sold and then repurchased. I'm going to start with the funniest one first because I sold it, repurchased it, repurchased a lot of them, and now I'm selling them. <laughs> sort of. <laughs> and that is the Caveco Sport. So when I was new to the fountain pen game, uh, I had a couple Caveco Sports. Um, I had the all gray one. I had the mint colored one. Uh, and I believe I had one more. I think I just had this straight up black one. Um, that I used them with like the cartridges they came with, all this kind of good stuff. Uh, and I was happy with them. I wasn't pleased. I wasn't displeased. They were just cool to have. Um, they were run of the mill writers, run of the mill everything. Um, didn't have one, thankfully, that was like terrible. Uh, didn't have one that was like amazing. It was just run of the mill. Uh, and that's really why I ended up selling them because they didn't wow me. And I was starting to get into pens that did wow me. Um, and they were really, I thought, too small at the time. Plus, I kind of went through a snobby phase where I was like, I'm I'm too good for that Quebec sport. Like, I'm like getting professional now with my pens. So I need something that's going to like be boss, you know. <laughs> so I sold them all. Uh, and I think that was in and around the same time as I sold my original pilot too. Um, so I sold them all. And then I kind of found myself regretting that uh, a little bit later when I realized that just because, you know, you pay a lot of money for a pen doesn't make it any better than the cheapest pen in the world. So uh, I repurchased a Caveco. Um, I repurchased a completely gray one, not this one. Uh, and then I was also getting into modifying nibs at the time. So I modified that to write a little bit wetter, uh, a little bit smoother. Uh, and then I realized, oh gosh, <laughs> I like Cavecos a lot. And so I thought, let's continue trying to modify these nibs. So I bought a couple more because they're not super expensive uh, and realized that when I make them right the way that I want them to, I love them. <laughs> so I bought so many, <laughs> like so many, so many to the point where I have five that are just like standing out right now I mean I've got these that are just chilling over here and I got a whole case specifically for some of them <laughs> like I got too many guys too many uh, I have sold a couple uh, and I do plan on selling pretty much all of them with the exception of these three uh, why these three in particular? Well, I just, I'm obsessed with this color. <laughs> uh, and these two just write phenomenally. These two I have tuned to the way that I like them. Uh, and they just seem to be the ones that I gravitate towards over all of the rest. All of the rest. <laughs> so, uh, I technically will be selling them, but I'm only doing it because I just have too many and it's ridiculous. I don't need that many, uh, but I'm keeping these three in my collection. Uh, and I'm so, so, so glad that I do have them because I love them very, very much. And I don't want to ever let them go, but I'm going to let the others go. Uh, just because, yeah, I got in too deep and it was, it was ridiculous, but <laughs> That's the funny one. The other two, I've only ever bought one of since I repurchased them. Uh, and yeah. So since we just did a pocket pen, I will get into one more pocket pen. The other one is not. And that is the Pilot E95S fountain pen. Uh, this pen I purchased a long, long, long time ago. And I genuinely had a good time with it. Um, but I think I just fell out of love with it because it is such a different pen. Um, 
It was the first hooded nib, I believe. I believe I bought this before my Lamy 2000, um, but it was pretty close to when I bought the Lamy 2000. Um, and I just thought that the Lamy was better than this. So I was like, I don't need two of them. I'll sell this one. Uh, plus, I didn't really like pocket pens at the time. Uh, I had already gotten rid of my Quebecos at this point. Um, even though when you post it, it's like a full size pen. Uh, and I realized I just needed more pocket pens in my life. <laughs> uh, they're super adorable. There's just something so satisfying about the way that this closes. Like, you don't even hear it. <sighs> just makes you feel so good. Um, and Pilot pens are phenomenal. They write so well. The medium nib on this is a little bit broader than I would I would like, to be fair. Um, but the fine nib is too fine. It's, it's, a, it's a weird balance <laughs> between Pilot Fines and Pilot Mediums um, because Pilot Fines and Extra Fines write a little bit finer than their European counterparts, um, but the mediums and above don't. They write pretty much the same. Uh, in fact, like I said, this one's a bit beefier. So I do have to be careful of the ink choices that I use with that one, um, but I still love it. It's so smooth. It writes perfectly every time I ink it up. Um, the only thing that I don't like about it is just that the body itself is so small where you screw in the converter that you can't actually see any of your ink level because the can, like the actual holding tank of the converter is inside the pen. That's literally it. That's the only reason why I don't 100% absolutely adore this pen because that to me is a pretty big flaw. I want to be able to know how much ink I have left in a pen. I did regret selling it. And I'm glad that I rehab it. Rehab it? Still have it. <laughs> Would I ever sell this again in the future? I don't know. But not right now. I'm really glad it has a home with me. Take the last sip of coffee. And then we get into the final pen. Now, I did not mean to have three pilots in my collection or on this list. The Metropolitan being an honorable mention, the E95S being in the top, and now I have another one. I think the reason why is because I went through such a huge pilot phase and then I found out that there are others, you know, like I, I sort of, I started in the Japanese world, I stayed there for a while, and then I realized that European pens are dope. So I started buying a bunch of Europeans. Pilot Custom 74. Now, there was a big reason why I sold the first one. The first one that I had uh, was one that I purchased actually off of Amazon. And I believe it was for like a hundred bucks, something like that. Um, it was the all clear demo one, which to this day, I'm not a super, uh, huge fan of just pure demonstrators. I like translucent ones like this, but I want some color. Um, but the main reason why I did it was because it was a fine nib. And as I just said <laughs> with the Pilot E95S, there's a very, very fine line between fine and medium when it comes to Pilot. The biggest thing that you will notice with Pilot pens on the, um, like, I guess the number five size nibs are, are what's, this one technically doesn't really have like a size on it because it's a hooded nib. Um, but I will say it's, it's noticeable on, on the uh, number five size here. Slightly noticeable on the uh, 15 in the Pilot Custom A23, but I didn't notice it on any of the 912s that I'd used. Um, but anywho, the up, line, your upstroke of your writing is a little bit drier than your downstroke. When you have a medium nib, I actually adore that um, because you really get a good amount of shading that way. But with the fine nib, it's just, it's too much. It's a, it's too dry on the upstroke um, compared to the downstroke. 
And that's really why I ended up selling that pen was because I just didn't like the way that the nib wrote. It wrote beautifully in the sense that if it was smooth, it was responsive, it still has that like shock absorber feel um, that the like medium has, but it was just too fine. It was just too fine. Uh, and so I sold it and then down the road, about a year or two later, I really got back into pilot, like heavily got back into pilot, started getting a whole bunch and I'm still heavily into pilot. And I repicked up a pilot custom 74 in the translucent blue. All honesty, I believe I still got it off of Amazon and I'm pretty sure I got it for about a hundred bucks again. Um, they are more than that now, uh, especially in Canada but I'm pretty sure I got it for about the same amount. And I love it. I love it so much as I do. It's like one of my favorite pens. I can't put this here. Nope. Um, it's one of my favorite pens. I really like to put KWZ uh, Northern Twilight, I believe it's called, uh, which was a Scriptus ink, um, Scriptus Tronopencho ink. Um, so yeah, I really love it. Uh, I, I do see myself selling it only only if i can get a color that i prefer so i either want to get the like blue stone version or the forest green version that would be the only time i would sell this one uh, is if i could get those colors in its replacement i will always have a custom 74 in my collection um, i just prefer those colors over this however um i've never seen a decent price for them to buy one since I already have one so therefore I haven't <laughs> so that's why I still have this regular blue version in my collection but that, that'd be the only way that I would sell this again is if I were able to find those colors so top three that I have sold and repurchased uh, was the Caveco Sport the Pilot E95S and the Pilot Custom 74 and then of course again honorable mention Pilot Metropolitan and then Twisby diamond 580 al uh so let me know in the comment section down below a have you tried any of these and do you like them dislike them why why not uh and b what pens have you sold and then regretted so you've repurchased and or regret now and you're looking to repurchase let me know in the comment section down below because that would be super interesting uh to see what everybody else thinks uh check out the description if you would like to find my link to the patreon account that i have if you would like to support me and what i do here um but even if you don't want to do that that's totally cool hit the like button hit the subscribe if you want to see it more every monday and friday and the occasional tuesday all right thank you for watching i'll see you next time